The A2X Accounts and Taxes page allows you to set how you'd like each transaction type from your e-commerce sales channel to be posted to your accounting software. Think of the mapping page as your command center for categorizing and organizing transaction data, mirroring the familiar concept of transaction categorization in your accounting software. On this page, you'll map each transaction type to a general ledger or chart of account in your accounting software. For instance, you might map sales to a sales income account. You will also determine whether your accounting software should calculate tax on each transaction type or not. In this video, I'll guide you through the mapping page, offering you various tips and tricks. If you're searching for something specific, feel free to skip ahead through the chapters. Remember, A2X can automate this process for you if you select the Assisted Setup option. The first time you visit the Accounts and Taxes page, you'll be prompted to go through an Assisted Setup Questionnaire. Here, you'll answer a few questions about where your business operates and your tax registrations. At the end of the questionnaire, you'll have the option to choose Assisted Setup or Custom Setup. Assisted Setup is where A2X takes care of the setup for you. With this option, A2X will create the default ledger accounts for you in your accounting software. If applicable, it will also set the relevant tax rate. Custom Setup is where you instead select your own accounts and tax rates. Regardless of your choice, Assisted or Custom Setup, you'll have the flexibility to review and modify your mappings on the Accounts and Taxes page. On the page, you might notice some transactions called Auto Mapping Rules. Auto Mapping Rules are central to the mapping page and they're a good place to start when you're identifying transaction types. They can serve as your starting point for assigning transaction types to your preferred accounts. There will be an Auto Mapping Rule for every different transaction category. When transaction details align with your preferred criteria, the designated chart of accounts is automatically assigned. No manual mapping is needed. It's a time-saving feature that empowers you. Auto mapping rules also allow you to set rules for a future transaction. You have the option to create an auto mapping rule for every different transaction category. If in the future, A2X identifies a new transaction within this category that it hasn't seen before, A2X will automatically apply this auto mapping rule to the new transaction. For example, if you have an auto mapping rule for your sales category, set to your e-commerce sales account. Then down the track, if you start doing sales in a different country, A2X will automatically apply this auto mapping rule to your new sales transaction and post it to your specified e-commerce sales account. Alternatively, you can leave the auto mapping rules unmapped. This way, when a new transaction type appears, you will get notified that you need to map this new transaction before you can post your entry to your accounting software. Auto mapping rule lines are the only lines that can be left unmapped within your A2X mapping page. To help you identify and understand the transaction, A2X provides a variety of transaction types and filters. These tools make it a breeze to categorize your transactions accurately. Easily identify sales, refunds, gift cards, fulfillment and warehousing fees, and more. Filters further assist in separating transactions into broader categories like income, expense, asset, and liability, simplifying your mapping decisions. You can select the account type filter along the top to just show a type of transaction, such as income or expense. This can be useful when the transaction details don't make it clear if it was an income or an expense transaction. There are drop downs for each of the columns. You can select to show a specific transaction. You can search within the details if you're looking for something specific. For example, if you select refunds, you may see refunds in the description, but you should also check the transaction type to confirm if it's a sale, refund, shipping, commission, or something else. Or you can click on the arrow icon to exclude that transaction type. You can also search via marketplace or location. You can search for any transaction mapped to a specific account or tax rate. 
You can also search for anything that is unmapped. You can apply changes to multiple lines by selecting the checkbox or by holding shift and then selecting multiple boxes. Or you can select all of the rows by clicking the box at the top of the column. When you select multiple lines, you get the option to bulk apply an account or tax rate. This includes bulk removing an account or tax rate. Each column can also be changed to ascending or descending order. Make sure you click save mappings before leaving the page. You will see the data organized into columns. The first column, transaction, can be seen as a category such as sales or refunds. The next column is transaction details. This column will give you the specifics about that transaction. For example, under shipping, you might see shipping income as well as refunds. This column is particularly useful for drilling into the details. For an Amazon account, you might see the term item price. This always indicates revenue or item fees, which indicates a fee Amazon charged the seller related to the sale of a product. Principal relates to an item being sold. On Shopify, you might see product sales, product sales excluding tax, or product sales not tax, relating to whether the sale was taxed or not. There are many other terms you could come across. You can find explanations of the different transactions in the A2X Support Center. Depending on your sales channel, you might also have a country or marketplace column. This relates to where the transaction occurred, for example, on which marketplace or in which country. The account column gives you a drop down of the chart of accounts or ledger within your accounting software. Here you'll select where you'd like that specific transaction to be recorded. Remember to click save mappings as you go so you don't lose any of your mappings. If you create a new account in your accounting software, you'll need to refresh the cache in your A2X settings under settings connections so that account is visible in A2X. If your business primarily operates in regions like the UK, AU and NZ where a uniform tax rate applies consistently, you'll find our tax mapping feature to be a valuable tool. This feature enables you to map your transactions with the specific tax rate that corresponds to them, so the tax is calculated by your accounting software. If you are using your accounting software to calculate your tax, your tax lines need to mirror the income account mapping and tax rate. For example, sales tax should be mapped to a sales account with a 20% VAT or a 10% GST rate applied. Or shipping tax should be mapped to shipping income and, for example, a 20% VAT or a 10% GST rate applied. This method will wrap the tax amounts into the income account and post the transactions as tax inclusive transactions. The accounting system will reallocate the income and the VAT into the tax module. This mirror method can be a little confusing, so please reach out to us if you need any help. Remember A2X can automate this process for you if you select the assisted setup option. Tax is complicated and we recommend working with an accounting professional to make sure you have it correct. For countries with multiple jurisdictions or tax systems, we recommend mapping the no tax rate as the tax has already been allocated directly to a tax liability account for you. If this is the case, the tax mapping tool may automatically be hidden for you. All tax related transactions are categorised as sales tax liabilities, therefore mapping them directly to a liability account without using a tax rate is best practice and offers a streamlined approach. This method provides a way to maintain precise control over your financial management. Regardless of whether a tax rate is applied, any tax captured on your e-commerce sales channel will be separated, so watch out for tax in your transaction types. You might see some lines on your mapping page highlighted in either yellow or red. Yellow indicates this transaction is unmapped and needs to be mapped. In some cases, it's okay to progress without mapping a transaction, for example, if it's an auto mapping rule. 
Red indicates an error in the account or tax field. It happens when the accounting system or account codes have changed after the initial mapping. In this case, you'll best to clear the mapping and update with an account. At the top of the page, you will find some useful resources to help with mapping. There is also the link to an a to x directory. Here you will find an expert e-commerce accountant or bookkeeper who can best suit your business needs. The next section relates to the questions you answered during the assisted setup questionnaire. The setup questionnaire complete section indicates that you've already completed the assisted mapping questionnaire. If you'd like to redo the questionnaire, then you can click update. However, be aware that this will reset any preset mappings. The auto setup section gives users who selected the custom setup option in the assisted mapping questionnaire the option to use A2X's default chart of accounts. The copy mapping tool. If you have another A2X account that you'd like to copy the mappings from, you can do so by clicking on copy mapping tool. Don't forget we're here to help. If you have any questions, please reach out to our customer success team via the chat in the bottom corner of your screen or by emailing contact at a2xaccounting.com. There is also a range of useful articles in the A2X Support Centre, so be sure to check those out too. Otherwise, happy mapping.